So here's what's going on, folks. According to the testimony of several individuals, with the means of a black budget, the undergovernment, or secret government, has, and for a long time, has had the technologies to travel through time. Some of these individuals also testify to have had physically traveled through space and time themselves. And many of them were groomed test subjects. You see, when you have the means and the clearance to set up a facility under the noses of the public, you are able to do things that would otherwise be prohibited due to their immoral and unethical nature. How many times has the government passed laws to legalize something that you deemed unethical? At one time, it was thought that getting a divorce was immoral, until one day the courts ruled in favor of it. So today, all the value of a marriage is in that paper contract. I can go on and on about all the things that we used to consider wrong that are now labeled okay because of the law. And you can all see with your own two eyes we are becoming more demoralized year after year. When it comes to traveling through time, there is no regulation or laws passed, which is the main reason these technologies are kept out of the public eye. Anytime you hear of a scientist getting close to achieving something like this, you don't usually hear from them again, because this is like creating a toy that will endanger a child. You can't have people traveling through time all over the place. Who would want to live in that mess? Can you imagine? One day you have an iPhone, the next day it's an Android. You put some delicious chicken in the fridge, you pull it out the next day and it's freaking bologna sandwiches. Is that what you want, folks? People screwing up the timeline? Just because we can do something does not mean that we should. But seriously, because people are busy working, paying bills, raising children, going to school, watching TV, socializing on the internet, and just learning what they need to survive, the average person doesn't have time to worry about what the government is reputedly doing behind their backs. Nor do they care. And time is the key word here. So for those of you who have ever wondered if time travel is possible, and do we really have the technology to do it, well, that's what this is all about. So, let's get down to it, shall we? So how do you travel through something that does not exist? Well, first you have to get into a mind frame that will allow you to look at something for what it truly is. Time is a construct used to measure movement through space. And because everything in the universe moves together all at once at a certain rate, we can measure that movement with a great degree of accuracy. The very foundation of movement is vibration frequency and the energy that maintains it is electrical now every person and everything has its own unique frequency unless the two objects are exactly alike there are machines that can locate you by frequency anywhere on the planet and these machines can also transmit frequencies to you in order to heal you or to harm you they can even be used to manipulate thoughts because every thought, again, has a unique frequency. Also, specific moments in time have frequencies that can be measured. And this understanding is the first step to time travel. Next, you need to understand electromagnetic energy. And who had an understanding of electricity and magnetics in the modern world better than Nikola Tesla? whose work is what a lot of time travel technology is based, along with other technologies that some claim are alien in origin. If you have ever seen the movie Iron Man, 
The device that Tony Stark constructs that can self-sustain high amounts of energy is a coil based on Tesla's work. The same type of technology that was allegedly used in the Philadelphia experiment in 1943, where a Navy vessel with a full crew was testing out Tesla's technology that was installed inside the ship. The intent of the Navy was to be able to cloak the ship from radar, but Tesla had bigger plans and not only did the ship become invisible to radar, it became invisible to the naked eye. The ship reappeared and when it did, the ship's crew were found fused to the walls. Some men went insane. Of course, this is just a story. According to the Navy, it never happened. This does not change the fact that Tesla's technology and patents were centered around the manipulation of electromagnetic energy. The same damn thing CERN is doing with their huge Tesla coil, known as the Large Hadron Collider. Are you with me so far? So the way this works is, using magnetics and high voltage electrical energy, you can stretch space and time. Take an object and inject that object into a point on the timeline. Once that magnetic field hold is released, space and time snap back together and the object is sent to that time period. Think of it like this. If you took a tape measure, the tape measure itself represents space. The numbered tape that you pull out represents time. Once you get to the number that you want on the tape measure, you mark it with ink. That ink mark represents an object or person. When you let go of the tape, the tape and the ink mark get sucked back up into the tape measure. It's like a tunnel to another point in space-time, which is truly just teleportation. Aside from this method of teleportation, you can also use frequencies as coordinates. If you can somehow match your frequencies to those coordinates, you can teleport to the point in space-time where those frequencies existed. These methods are also based on dimensional theory. Our reality is three dimensions, and the fourth dimension sticks out from that. And surrounding the very end of the fourth dimension is the fifth dimension. And another dimension is extended from that, and so on and so forth. This is all complex stuff, and that's why governments have commissioned guys like Tesla and Einstein to work with their military on these projects. Not to mention the technology the Nazis took from these guys. Philadelphia Experiment, the Montauk Project, the Phoenix Project, Project Pegasus, and there's more. These madman projects are very easy to hide because no one would ever believe that there exists someone who is smart enough to figure time travel out. It's impossible, right? On the other hand, if it is possible, and certain organizations do have this technology, then what are they doing with it? And what have they done with it? Are they changing history? Are they manipulating the timeline? Well, some say they are. And some like myself say that once you travel through time, you can only change your own reality within that timeline. You really can't change the past because once you return, you return to the original timeline you came from, and not the timeline that was altered. So in other words, if you went back in time and successfully killed Hitler, you would return to the same old timeline where Hitler was not killed, instead of the new alternate timeline where he was killed. With this understanding, the only thing you could do as a time traveler is observe and collect information. Maybe even bring someone or something back with you. The knowledge you could obtain by gathering true intel from the past and future is way more powerful and beneficial than trying to change history. And if the government has this technology, this is probably what they are doing with it. Besides using it to simply teleport through space, such as dimensionally jumping from Earth to Mars. I know the patents are there, folks, but I don't know if this technology truly works. And if it does, I can guarantee you the government is using it for whatever purpose. And maybe none of these multiple technologies work and no one will ever be able to figure out time travel. Or, maybe a long time ago, 
someone already did.